From all appearances, there seems to be little worth defending here. However, this ghost town in the middle of Afghanistan has come to symbolize the struggle these Marines and the military in general face there. The Taliban have surrounded the area. They have prepared defensive positions. Uh, and you essentially have, uh, you have two forces facing one another. The military says this area is too valuable to abandon. However, it doesn't have enough troops to adequately hold it, leaving these Marines in a precarious situation. It's a 50-50 chance that next footstep could be the last footstep you make, but you have to make it in order to, you know, get the job done that we're here to do. The Taliban has scattered landmines all over the place, forcing Marines to follow behind a sweeper as they advance and then leave crude foot markings in the sand for their fellow troops to follow. On top of that, they have to make patrols through the remnants of a village that once stood here, a perfect place to hide IEDs. Nobody lives in the town. Uh, it's deserted and it's been that way for a couple of years now. And so it's basically, um, you know, you're it's like World War II style fighting house to house. Over the last month, one Marine has been killed here and seven others injured. It's not clear what casualties the Taliban has suffered as U.S. forces pound the region with mortars. And there may be some good news for these troops. President Obama has promised to send 21,000 extra Marines to Afghanistan. It's just not clear if any will end up in this no man's land. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.